What's going on guys? John Elder here from CodeMe.com and in this video, we're going to look at Pandas series for machine learning. All right guys, like I said in this video, we're going to look at the Pandas series for machine learning. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodeMe.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off membership to all my courses, videos, and books, one time fee, which is insanely cheap. Okay, like I said, in this video, we're gonna look at the Pandas series. And this is sort of like the very first thing you learn about Pandas. And a series is basically just a column in a table, right? It's a one dimensional array that holds pretty much any type of data. So that's what we're gonna look at in this video. So I've got a Jupyter notebook opened up. I'm just calling this series. And I've imported Pandas and NumPy. Now we're not actually gonna use NumPy for this video, but we're always going to use NumPy in the future. So I'm just going to kind of always have that in there. So like I said, a series is just a column in a table and you can give it some sort of headings and things. And we'll look at that in this video. So let's start out by creating one. So I'm just going to call this my underscore series. And this is going to be a Python list. And let's just sort of make up some numbers. So I'm going to say five, nine, 12, 27, whatever, right? So that's just a Python list, but now we need to convert it into a pandas series. So I'm going to call this my underscore var, short for variable. And this is going to be a pd dot series, panda series. Remember, we've imported pandas as pd. So anytime we want to do something with pandas, it's always pd dot something. And we want to create a series. What do we want to create a series of? We want to create it of my series. Okay, and we can just print this and see what it looks like by calling my var, shift enter to run this thing. And you see here is our series. And you'll see it's just a column, 5, 9, 12, 27. Now you'll notice it has row sort of headings, and these are just numbered, sort of like a Python list. It starts at 0, 1, 2, 3. So that's kind of all there is to it. And here it's showing the data type. This is integers 64-bit, right? So, okay, that's cool. Now what if we want to pull something out of here and do something with it? Well, we can print a specific thing. Let's call my var. And just sort of like any Python list, use square brackets, and you call one of these row numbers. So if we wanted 12, we would call two here. So we could just pop a two in there, shift enter to run this, and boom, we get 12. Pretty cool. So, okay, that's cool, but these numbers here, these row headings are kind of lame. You're probably gonna wanna create your own little headings. How do we do that? Well, we could do that by adding labels using an index argument. So let's come down here and let's create my index. And again, this is just gonna be a Python list. We use square brackets. And I'm just gonna keep this easy. Let's call this one A, the next one we'll call B. The next one, C, and the next one, D. We need four of these because we have four items in our series, right? So now let's create another series. I'm gonna call this my var2, and this is gonna be a pd.series. And if we hit the shift in the tab key, you'll see this little thing pops up, sort of explaining what's going on here. And you can see the series is a function. It is looking for data, it's looking for an index, and some other stuff that we don't really care about. So we could come through here and just sort of do what this says here. It's a nice little handy guide. So you can see right here it says data, and here it says index. So we could just do that. So for the data, we want our my underscore series. Slap a comma for the index, we want our my underscore index. And then we could just print out my var2, see what this looks like. And you can see, boom, now we have A, B, C, D instead of zero, one, two, three. So that's very cool. Now, I used a variable here. You could just as easily go like this. And in fact, let's change this one to Z just so we can see a change here. And we pop this in, change this to Z, shift enter to run this guy. And you can see now this one says Z. You know, most of the time you're not gonna just put your index in it like this because you might have millions of rows of data or something. So you'll use variables like this. So instead we would just go index equals my index. Okay, so shift enter to run this guy again, and now we're back to D. Likewise, we can still pull things out of here. So we can go my underscore var two, and instead of using an index number, we could say, hey, give me row B, right? So if we shift run this, we get nine, because B is nine. We can also, just like in the old days, before we used an index, call the one th thing, and we're also going to get nine because you can always use the index number if you want. So uh, let's change this to C and we get 12. So, okay, that's cool. So we've created a series very easy. We've done it really sort of 
bit by bit, right? We started out with the actual array, then we added an index, and it's all kind of a little bit sloppy. We could do all of this at once using Python dictionaries. So let's come down here and let me kind of, let me make this a little bit bigger so it's easier to see. So let's create a new series using a Python dictionary. You know, dictionaries are key value pairs. The key will be the row, the value will be the actual series itself. So let's create one called cars. And this is going to be a Python dictionary. So we use squiggly brackets. And we could say, I don't know, Tesla. And let's say we have 12 of those. We then have Mercedes. And we've got, I don't know, 42 of those. And I don't know, BMW, something like that. And we've got three of those. So now we could just create a series out of that dictionary. So we can go my underscore var three, and it's going to be a PD dot series. And then we just want to pass in cars, right? So now we can my underscore var three print this out. And you can see bang zoom right away, we have our nice rows already indexed, we don't need to create labels, we've created them right here, right? And here's our data. Likewise, to pull a single item, we can go my var three, and say we want Tesla, shift run this, we can see boom, there's 12 of them. Very cool. And really just that easy. So that's the panda series. There's sort of the very, very first thing you need to understand. In the next video, we'll look at data frames, which is even more interesting, more like a an Excel spreadsheet than this right here, though, you know, we're starting to get there right here with these series, we've got rows and columns, but there's only one column with data frames, we can have multiple columns and do all kinds of cool things. So we'll start to look at that in the next video. So that's all for this video. If you liked, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off membership. So it's access to all my courses, over 50 courses, thousands of videos, and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 150,000 students to learn to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.